Let's talk about how your stress can affect your immune system. Now, when we're talking about stress, we're talking about the hormone cortisol. Cortisol, based on SIBA collection of medical illustrations, volume four of the endocrine system, under the section cortisol, uh, Dr. Frank Netter talks about the relationship to the immune system. Cortisol has a purpose of suppressing the white blood cell. Your white blood cells are basically the army of your immune system. So cortisol suppresses that function. It inhibits that function. And this is why if you go to the doctor and you're sick, whether you have, I don't know, allergies, some skin reaction, some autoimmune disease, they'll give you prednisone, which is cortisol. It's a synthetic version. And that will clear up the skin reaction, the allergy, or even the poison ivy. And it will also get rid of inflammation. So it's suppressing this overreactive immune system. That's what cortisol does. And stress activates cortisol. Now, if you think about that, stress should improve your immune system, right? I'm gonna explain. There's two types of stress. There's acute stress and then there's chronic stress. And this is the one that really is behind so many health problems because when you chronically elevate cortisol through years of stress or months of stress or even a sudden overwhelming shock of some stress, you could create what's called cortisol resistance, okay? Very similar to insulin resistance in that this amount of cortisol that's coming out through the body may even look normal in your blood, but it's not effective. It's, the cells are not sensitive to cortisol anymore. They're not connecting. So cortisol is not working despite what's going on in the blood. And that means it's not gonna have a good effect on your immune system. It's actually gonna either create a spike in white blood cells, which could increase your risk for all sorts of issues like heart disease, or it's going to cause you to lose your immune protection. It's gonna make you more susceptible to getting sick, especially pulling in microbes. So when you get sick, whether it's from a virus or a bacteria, there's usually always something that happens before you get sick. It's some type of factor that lowers your immune system that makes you susceptible. It could be a combination of stress and a nutrient deficiency or just stress itself. But this is something that a lot of people don't talk about. But if you reflect back on the last time you got sick, you're gonna remember there was a stress right before that. In fact, working with thousands of patients over 29 years, I ran into this over and over and over. The people that are getting sick are in a stress environment and then they get sick. So stress is a really big part of it, not quite emphasized. And then you have the nutrient deficiencies that are also uh, there as well. And when you get an infection, and I did a video on this recently, the virus, for example, will cause a nutrient deficiency. It might block vitamin D, okay? So having the infection now creates a nutritional deficiency, which keeps the infection there because the microbes want to survive too. So they will do all sorts of things to weaken your system. And my last point is this. If you want more information on how to reduce stress, check out the videos on this page. Thanks for watching.